Hello, and thank you very much for taking a look at our business plan specific for a cosmetics retailer. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to walk through the Word document, and I'll show you the Excel file. It has an automated table of contents, so as you add your own content, uh, these page numbers will automatically update for you. It starts with the executive summary, outlining the operations of your uh, retail store specific for selling cosmetics. And all of the charts and graphs that you see here can be adjusted specific for the needs of your business. Chapter 2 deals with the amount of money you're looking to raise and how you intend to use those funds. Chapter 3 is an overview of the retail sales of cosmetics as well as discussing uh, e-commerce operations. If any of this is not applicable to your business, you can simply take it out or modify it. The market research, which is updated for this year and discusses matters relating to COVID-19 and how it impacted the economy. The marketing plan, and there's a standalone 24-page marketing plan that comes along with this. Overview of your organization, positions, payroll, and headcount. Again, all of this can be adjusted. And of course, the financial plan, which is done on a three-year basis and has a profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, balance sheet, break-even analysis, and business ratios. And then in year one, we break the profit and loss down monthly quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three, and the same with the cash flow analysis, broken down monthly for year one, quarterly for year two, and quarterly for year three, and all that is done automated uh, in the Excel file. And here's the Excel file. It's very easy to use. All of the instructions are right on each tab. Uh, here you can adjust the usage of your funds and how you intend to raise that money, your revenue centers, positions and payroll, your underlying expenses here. From there, you enter in your first uh, year's monthly sales uh, by each of the 12 months. Simply enter in your growth rate for year two and year three. And out comes your profit and loss statement, the expanded profit and loss statement, cash flow analysis, the expanded cash flow analysis. Again, this is the, the, the table you saw at the back of the plan. Break even, business ratios, and of course the balance sheet. And that's essentially it. Um, and this again also includes the standalone marketing plan, three SWOT analysis templates, uh, a pitch deck, as well as some other important information about starting a cosmetics retailing business. Thank you for taking a look.